In this chapter, I want to take a quick look at adding plugins to tracks, since it's something we kind of glossed over in previous videos. It doesn't matter whether you add them in the edit window or the mix window, the process is pretty much the same. Click on the first insert slot on this drums track here. Because this is a stereo track, we have the option of adding a multi-channel plugin or a multi-mono plugin. The cool thing about multi-mono plugins is that they allow us to create different settings for the left and right channels. We'll talk more about them in the upcoming chapters on the plugin window. Let's stick with multi-channel plugins for now. Here we have a bunch of categories like EQ, Dynamics, Pitch Shift, and so on. We can change up how these plugins are organized in the Preferences. Go to the Setup menu and select Preferences. Now, make sure the Display tab is selected. Look for this option here, Organize Plugin Menus By. Right now it's at the category which is what we were just looking at. We can also set it to Flat List, Manufacturer, or Category and Manufacturer. Flat isn't very useful because it simply lists every single plugin that's available to you in one big huge list. The plugins that come included with Pro Tools already make this list so big, and if you have any third-party plugins, this list is going to be way too long. Manufacturer organizes the plugins based on the company that made them, but again, if you have a lot of plugins from one manufacturer, the plugins are just going to be this one long list. And I find that a little annoying, but some people do like this option a lot. My personal favorite is Category and Manufacturer, which displays both the category lists and the manufacturer lists. Let's check that out. Now, you can see we have our category lists here, as well as the manufacturer lists down here. Very cool. Choose the option that best suits your workflow. Another thing we can do is select a default EQ and Dynamics plugin so that we can have quick access to them in this window. Once again, let's hit our preferences up, but this time let's go to the mixing tab. These are the two options we want to look for here, default EQ and default dynamics. Let's go with the EQ7 for EQ, and how about the compressor limiter Dyn3 for the default dynamics. Now when we click here, we can see them right at the top, so we don't even have to bother going through these menus here. We can just bang, we got an EQ. And bang, we got a compressor. It's as easy as that. Move ahead to the next two chapters to learn all about these options up at the top of a plugin here. <laughs>